Z1620 here today, and I've got a banger of a video for you guys today. We got a weapon that is going to be uh, one that is going to absolutely shred in uh, tier three. It is going to be a ton of fun to absolutely use for sure. I really have been enjoying using this one. So welcome in. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I turn on bell notifications so you don't miss any future uploads from myself on Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Big thank you to each and every one of you guys for all the support on my recent content. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so very much. Make sure you drop a comment down below and a like on the video helps me out. Also, don't forget, we do stream daily. The links for those are down in the description below, and I would love to see you guys tune into the streams. With that being said, let's get to the banger video. All right, so welcome into today's video. We have a banger of a video for you today. We've got the MW2 crossbow today. And if you guys remember, this used to be super OP. Um, you could put on the napalm arrow tips and uh, just go in and completely destroy absolutely everything inside of tier three. Now, um, this is not using the napalm because they nerfed that, um, but they did not nerf the explosive tip arrows. And I wanted to show you guys just how strong and just how much fun it is to use this crossbow with this explosive tip arrows. Um, I highly recommend, highly recommend you uh, put on PhD Flopper. There's a lot of uh, boom, 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 and you will uh, explode yourself if you don't have PhD Flopper. So make sure you uh, go ahead and grab PhD Flopper. And you can see here when you get critical hits with the crossbow, we've got no rarity, only my perks on it, and no ammo mods and no pack a punch and we're in tier one dealing with a bounty right here like we start off every single match and i want to show you guys just how strong this can be in tier one when you're getting critical hits every time you see me get a critical i get a ton of damage to the mimic here which is the tier one bounty and these can be quite a fight if you've been following along in the series um every bounty i do in tier one white rarity no pack a punch and no ammo mods is always quite a fight there's a few weapons that are pretty strong in tier one but i just had so much fun using this crossbow with the explosive arrows uh, i just i can't recommend it enough for you guys if you're really looking for something new to change up your games and just have some fun while you're playing mw3 zombies i highly highly recommend you go ahead and give this crossbow a shot with the explosive arrows now i do have a weapon build at the end of the video so you guys want to stick around for that if you're wanting to find out what the build is for the crossbow um, but for the most part it's it's literally just the explosive tip arrows the rest of it is kind of up to you guys for whatever you want we finished off our bounty right here in tier one um and it was fairly easy picked up the bones i've completed the event i don't know if you guys have we got two extra self revives out of that we went and picked up our second bounty in tier one and this time we went and put on our epic tool and uh, Epic Tool and Napalm, and we got a Mangler. Not sure what he was doing here. Like, I shot him, and he just decided to, to wander away. So we, we engaged the Mangler here. And again, the damage is, with the explosive tip arrows is going to be best when you get crits. If you're not getting criticals, um, you know, without it being pack-a-punched, it's not going to do nearly as much damage. So make sure you're getting your critical hits with it if you don't have a pack-a-punched yet. Um, you got, and, of course, have Flopper. But it definitely, it's just so much fun um, shooting the zombies and watching them explode. And it's definitely very strong. I, I highly recommend this weapon. I had so much fun using this. And here we are, we're engaging the tier one bounty again. All we have now is epic on the crossbow and napalm burst, and that's it. And you can see here, as far as dealing with zombies, it's not a problem at all. It's tons of fun uh, to shoot them and everything gets exploded. <laughs> just like I said, just make sure you're running PhD Flopper and you won't have any issues. Look at that damage with one critical hit. It, it's absolutely crazy just how much you can do. We finished him off right here. I missed that one. Uh, we got him with that one and he was done right there. So very strong. Uh, we got a nice PAP2 crystal, which we're going to put on our... Uh, crossbow right here so now we are pap to epic with napalm burst and of course now we got to go off to tier two and see how this uh handles a tier two bounty with epic napalm and double pack a punch so we got another bounty here it was a mangler now when it's pack punched you have three arrows so you can uh, just kind of blast 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 quickly with three arrows 
So I've got a pack a punched here. We jumped out the window to give us some more room to move. And you can just see, it's so much fun to just blow up everything around you. It really gave me uh, Mustang and Sally vibes. For those of you that remember, you get those pack a punch and just shoot the ground, run around and blow everything up. Tons of fun. Makes zombies super easy. I was really enjoying using this. You can just see how many zombies just get blown away by the explosions. It's super fun. No problems dealing with the mangler right here. Boom, done, easy peasy. Highly recommend using this. Like I said, we got a self revive and tombstone out of that, which wasn't too bad. So of course, now we have to head off into tier three and I wanted to triple pack a punch the crossbow and we wanted to fight some zombies in tier three to see how it handles, you know, with the sheer numbers of zombies that come at you in tier three, the speed they run. I wanted to see how it handled just a whole ton of zombies around. Um, the one thing I would also recommend with PhD on the crossbow with the explosive tips is if you have golden armor plates, I would highly recommend using them. Um, with the explosives, the zombies are whacking you a lot. You can see here, I take a lot of hits, constantly plating up. So one of the things to make it a lot easier, of course, if you're using the crossbow with the explosive tips, I would say bring in golden plates if you have them. If not, just be wary to uh, keep plating and make sure you're keeping a good uh, inventory of plates while you're running around with the explosive tip crossbow. But I mean, you can see it's just, you just shoot the ground, boom, 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 everything gets blown up. It is so much fun. I felt like I was running around, like I said, with Mustang and Sally's. It's just so much fun. Uh, there's a tier three uh, elite, just not a problem with the crossbow. There's the tier three bounty, not a problem with the crossbow. Uh, it just wasn't much of an issue dealing with literally boards, elites, bounties i didn't have much of a problem at all um, last thing to do of course is we got to go test it against a mega abomination inside tier three and see how that goes now when you get in um, the explosive tip in the eye that's open you can wreck it with one shot i took about one eye right there with one shot the crossbow got it right in his eye and it took it out or his mouth i guess i keep calling them eyes but they're probably mouths so then uh, you can shoot it from the water, but of course the zombies start to throw meat at you, which wasn't very good, so I had to get out of there because that meat in tier three really does a ton of damage, which is brutal. Um, so we just continued to run around using the decoys to keep the zombies at bay and, and dealing with the mega abomination. And there's another mouth taken out again with the explosive tip crossbow. So if you can get them, you know, the, the shots from the crossbow right in the mega abomination's mouths, you're gonna have no problem taking them out. Uh, we finish them off right here. We got the disciple out of the way, um, and there we finished off the mega bomb. Oh, not here, sorry. We got to go a little bit more, and then we'll finish off the mega abomination. Now, I've also noticed in tier three that there seems to be an excessive number of zombies just always around. You're always seemingly seeming to be dealing with a horde of zombies now in tier three. I'm not sure when this change happened, but I certainly do notice it. And tier three certainly feels like it is the toughest. It is toughest it has been since the game released um, let me know in the comments below if you guys are feeling the same way when running around in tier three i just as you can see in the footage here there's just always zombies are on me i wasn't able to clear out um the zombies and just you know isolate the mega abomination like i've done before so i don't know if that's something that they've changed um or or what happened but i f certainly feel like they've turned up the zombies in tier three to 11 out of 10 for sure we finished off our mega abomination there got some cash got a pap one crystal and then uh, i wanted to go and try it against a bounty contract in tier three so we went and picked up a bounty and we got a mega abomination and i went over to the mega abomination and this did not go well for me um <laughs> at all he lasered me i should have stopped and shot him in the mouth while i was getting lasered figured i'd be smart run over here to the turret and he downed me on that so we popped our self revive i went over to the uh turret here and activated the circuit turret with my uh, circuit that i picked up from loot and then i completely overestimated the power of the crossbow with a whole massive horde of tier three zombies and we took our second down of the run right here trying to get away. Um, so I just stayed down and let the circuit board deal with our mega abomination contract and all the zombies. Uh, definitely one of the easiest contracts to do while you're down, I have to say. Uh, but I love using these uh, circuit turrets inside of tier 3. They just absolutely wreck absolutely everything. It's so awesome. We got a pop 2 crystal out of the deal. Rare ether tool, meh. And uh, we got another self revive out of that. So definitely something I highly recommend using. Again, like I said, you make sure you got PhD Flopper. If you have the golden armor plates, uh, put them on. It'll be a big help. 
And then as we head out of the match, I wanted to show you guys just how ridiculously strong this can be. So you're running around tier two, you got your bounty contract in tier two, which for me right here was uh, Mimic. Again, like the zombies are just, you just destroy them with the, the explosions. And the Mimic was not much of an issue at all. I didn't have any problems getting rid of the Mimic, nothing in tier two. Would I say the crossbow from MW2 with explosive tips is a viable weapon to use in MW3 zombies? 100% in all three zones for all three all contracts bounties um holdouts whatever the the uh crossbow is amazing and this is something i'm sure you guys have all come across let me know in the comments if you had you're trying to pick up a contract and they put something near it for me it was this light bulb that was giving me all the issues in the world trying to pick up my bounty contract Oh, it was driving me nuts. Let me know if you guys have had that issue before in your games in the comments. I'd love to find out. Also, I want to know if you guys tried out uh, the crossbow. And also, let me know down in the comments if there is another weapon that you would like to see me run for a video. And I will definitely do that. And we can go and check them out. So that's going to be it for today. Tons of fun. Use the crossbow. We got out of the game. I think one of the other players that has the kill shot skin here was jumping up and down. He managed to fall through the helicopter. So he ended up uh, back in the map, which was kind of funny. But uh, as always, at the end of the video, I have the build for you guys on the MW2 crossbow, the ones that I was using for this match right here. So thanks very much for tuning in. And don't forget, if you guys have a better build, please put it down in the comments. Let's help each other out. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.